So hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tanmay Bakshi and today I'm really glad to get to talk about the new M1 Max, with an X, MacBook Pro and specifically running Minecraft on it. As you know, a little while ago I released a tutorial on how you can run Minecraft natively on Apple Silicon for the very first time. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it was the first tutorial on the internet telling you how to run Minecraft natively on Apple Silicon back when they had released the M1 with the MacBook Air and the 13-inch MacBook Pro. As a matter of fact, I'm linking to my tutorial, the first ever resource to run Minecraft natively on Apple Silicon, down in the description below. So make sure you take a look at that if you want to understand a little bit more about what went behind actually getting Minecraft to run natively and some of the advantages of Apple Silicon in general. And now here's the thing, after that not much progress was made on Minecraft or Microsoft's end on getting it to run natively on Apple Silicon and still my tutorial is pretty much the only way for you to actually run it natively. I released a GitHub gist telling you exactly how to do it, I've pre-compiled all the dependencies like LWJ GL and so on and so forth. There have been lots of different folks on the GitHub just contributing different you know ideas as to how you can make it better like for example integrating MultiMC, uh, integrating Forge and Fabric and Optifine and all these other great ideas. In fact there are also some workarounds to enable you to log in with Microsoft accounts like for example using the Minecraft native launcher and then using that to launch an Intel version of Minecraft closing it finding the JSON where it stores the access token and then using that access token in my script in order to log you into Minecraft. But here's the problem, that's really inconvenient. And it seems like my, Minecraft and Microsoft really want to push people to using Microsoft accounts to log into Minecraft. So today, I want to do two things. First of all, there's a link in the description to a newer version of the same GitHub gist that enables Microsoft account-based authentication completely within the terminal, meaning you no longer need to use any weird hacks or workarounds to use Microsoft accounts for your Minecraft installation to run natively on Apple Silicon. Second, I want to show you some benchmarks and show you the kind of performance you can expect with a 32-core GPU M1 Max MacBook Pro, specifically the 16-inch, running in high-performance mode, although the high-performance mode doesn't matter as much for Minecraft because it doesn't require as much sustained performance and that much of a thermal envelope. As a matter of fact, running Minecraft barely ever, in fact, I've never heard the fans running on this computer running Minecraft. If you go back to the Intel Max, running Minecraft at like a good 30 FPS would bring you uh, to an extremely loud laptop. But now we can be running at like 160 FPS with barely any heat generated. It truly is incredible. Now, if you'd like to skip ahead to the part where I actually show you how to use the system, click on uh, the box on screen right now or skip to that chapter. Uh, however, if you'd like to go ahead and understand a little bit more about how this authentication works, let me give you a brief overview. Previously, the way authentication would work is you would pass my script, your username or email address, as well as a password. And given the email address and password, I would go to the Minecraft servers, run a REST request to get an access token and your user's UUID, which I would then pass to the Minecraft client, which would then log you into Minecraft and enable you to join servers that were in online mode and so on and so forth. However, Microsoft, after they bought Mojang, uh, is switching them over to Microsoft account-based authentication, meaning in order to authenticate against Minecraft, there's actually a three-step procedure you need to follow now. First, you have to make an OAuth request against Microsoft to log you into your Microsoft account. Then, once you're logged into the Microsoft account, you need to send a request against the Xbox Live servers. The Xbox Live servers give you another token that you then go ahead and pass to the Mojang servers saying, here's my Xbox Live token, can you please log me into Minecraft? Then that gives you an access token, and if you send another request, you can get the UUID through the profile endpoint. That is a lot of steps. And sometimes it requires weird ways of using Azure and other sorts of APIs in order to work. However, I managed to find a way to encapsulate all of that into a single JavaScript script and integrate that into the launcher script that I had built last time. So now, without any further ado, let's take a look at how you can actually, well, run Minecraft natively on Apple Silicon using Microsoft accounts as well this time. Let's take a look. Running Minecraft using this new launcher script is incredibly simple. All you have to do is provide it, well, your email and password, same as before, except this time this is the email and password associated with the Microsoft account that is associated with the Xbox Live account that you use for Minecraft. Once you provide the email and password through environment variables in your shell using these export commands, simply run sh launch.sh and just like that it will run node, run the request it needs to do, get the access token, and launch Minecraft for you. 
Now, by default, without using Optifine or any other kind of mods, using just normal vanilla Minecraft and running entirely natively on the M1 Max, I'm usually getting much over 100 frames per second. I'm usually getting about uh, between 120 and 180 on average using a render distance of 12 chunks. Of course, I have options like VSync off and, of course, unlimited frame rate set. Now, here's what's really interesting. With previous Macs, even if you were getting, for example, a 120 FPS frame rate, it didn't really matter because your screen wasn't refreshing that quickly. Anything beyond 60, and it no longer really matters because, once again, your screen isn't updating fast enough to show you all those extra frames that your GPU is calculating. However, what's really interesting is on these brand new MacBook Pros, the monitors, well, they're ProMotion. And what that means is that you get 120 hertz refresh rate when you're playing Minecraft, and that means when you get a higher frame rate, you're actually getting a much smoother experience. And that's running Minecraft natively on the M1 Max, which will also work for the M1 Pro as well as the M1 if you'd like to use the M1 uh, with a Microsoft account. Thank you very much for joining today. I do hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions or you know things you'd like to see me do with this, specific versions to use, feel free to let me know in the, down in the comment section below. And make sure to also leave a comment on the GitHub gist. There's a great community of people working towards you know little improvements um, and making this a better experience for everybody. And so I'm sure everybody can contribute towards making this even better to run Minecraft on these new Macs. Hopefully, Microsoft comes with native support very soon. But once again, thank you very much everybody for joining today. If you do enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more of it, please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss videos like this one. Thank you. Goodbye.